Layla Rafat, can you tell us when did Scientology start being a church? Was it after the IRS investigations? All right, this is all according to my best recollection. So if I don't get everything right, don't, don't shoot me on this. But um, Hubbard first used the word Scientology publicly uh, in a lecture in late 1951 when he was talking to Dianeticists, I believe, in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, then uh, the next year in 19, that was the first time that word ever popped up and it just popped up once. And then in uh, 1952, in early 1952, he was giving another lecture series where he brought it up very specifically right from the get-go. And there was a lecture and it was called Scientology or something to do with Scientology. And he, and he introduced this word and said, this is the direction we're going in now. And he defined it as uh, knowing how to know, you know, skio, logo, Scientology, knowing how to know. Uh, but it, the, the church had not formed up yet. This is just, I'm just talking about the first times that the word pops up. So then, this is early 1952. So now fast forward to late 1953. Dianetics is tanked and, you know, gone bankrupt. And, and that's that whole thing has happened. Um, so Hubbard incorporates the first Church of Scientology in Camden, New Jersey in 1953, uh, late 1953. But he doesn't open up any church in Camden. He just incorporates it as an, as an organization. I don't know exactly what the, the politics or rigmarole or whatever was going on then. But then in 1954 is when the actual first Church of Scientology opened its doors. And that was in Los Angeles. And that's the Los Angeles Church of Scientology, which is still there. It's the oldest uh, church organization that, that there is. And... Um, and then what happened is, I believe it was 1956, when they finally got IRS uh, recognition and tax exemption. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I believe it was 1956 when the IRS uh, accepted that the Church of Scientology was a religion and for tax-exempt purposes. So Scientology's, that's when Scientology's tax-exempt history starts. And um, what happened was, in 1967... Okay, fast forward from 1956 to 1967, the IRS had been investigating Scientology and they declared in 1967 that the Churches of Scientology, which were now this worldwide organization, all operated for the inurement of L. Ron Hubbard, meaning that the entire corporate structure existed in order to um, give him personal profit. He was personally profiting from Scientology. That's what the IRS investigation determined. And they canceled, they revoked the uh, tax exempt status and Scientology lost it uh, internationally. Um, and I think at that time, uh, all of Scientology was sort of uh, internationally incorporated in the Church of Scientology of California, CSC. And so they just revoked CSC's tax exempt status. And so all of Scientology suddenly was not tax exempt anymore. And despite the church fighting and fighting and fighting for years and years and years, all through the rest of the 60s, 70s, 80s, this was actually one of the best kept secrets. I mean, nobody really talked about this. They didn't, you know, nobody could claim uh, Scientology uh, exemptions, you know, from taxes uh, for religious donations. But they didn't talk about the battle or why the church had lost tax exempt status. Nobody knew in the Scientology world that it was because the IRS determined that Hubbard was being was personally profiting from the whole activity. So this battle waged on back and forth and the whole time that Hubbard was alive up until he up until he died in 86 they were accumulating more and more tax debt uh, more and millions and millions and millions of dollars because the church refused to pay any taxes to the IRS while this was going on. Uh, because they were so sure they were right and they weren't going to fight. And also, they, you know, didn't really have the money. So come 1993, the big, you know, monumental war is over thing and, and, the, and the IRS uh, granting Scientology tax exempt status again. Uh, that's why it was such a big deal. Because, you know, now Hubbard was no longer around. So the enormous issue was, was, was gone. You know, he, he wasn't being personally, he wasn't personally profiting from it anymore. And uh, as I've mentioned in other videos and is, is well documented all around on the internet, uh, Scientology had reincorporated into this massive labyrinth scheme of corporations and shell corporations. And it's, 
it's just a nightmare. It's a disaster. You know, it's just you trying to worm your way through it is it, it's a total shell game. And all of it exists to hide where the money is going and how it's being spent and who's getting what uh, and who has control of what. And it, it's just this labyrinth maze of corporations now. So as to prevent them from ever happening, having that happen to them again. So anyway, that's kind of the, the short version of, of uh, you know, kind of a long answer to a short question, but that's the history of it as I understand it. So.